This is the Emmy Power Blade uh, 8,000 milliamp uh, power bank. Uh, included here uh, with this uh, power bank, mine is blue. They come in a variety of colors. Uh, is the micro charging cable, and I'll move the power bank here just for a second. It also comes with a protective binder and a, the, the instructions on the inside here, and, and a nice felt case that come, you know, that comes with the binder that is actually snaps into this binder. The only thing I kind of wish that they would do with this uh, felt case is put some matching holes uh, with that so that you could use the felt case uh, with the power blade in your own binder. Uh, because the binder itself, or I'm sorry, the power bank itself has uh, matching holes for putting in uh, your own uh, binder if you choose. It would have been nice if the if they felt case that had done the same thing. Uh, this particular power bank uh, is approximately eight and a half inches by five and a half inches uh, in size and about an eighth of an inch thick. It's one of the coolest and actually thinnest power banks I've ever seen as you can see it's really thin uh, it has on the front here there's two uh, USB ports uh, for which have metal covers on the underneath here that slide actually slide back to actually fit the USBs as you can see as I push them forward there uh, one specifically for uh, iOS type devices and one for everything else and although I'm personally not crazy about power banks and chargers that that use specific ports for specific devices, uh, this power power blank or power blade, as it's called, really has a, a, a coolness factor about it. Uh, both ports can be utilized for charging devices at the same time. Uh, I charge my Android phone, tablet, Bluetooth headphones uh, with no issues. My BlackBerry phone only charged on the non iOS port uh, uh, which is typical of of my blackberry that tends to have problems with with uh, different types of power banks and chargers uh, also on the front there's four LEDs here that indicate charging level and power uh, the power button and the micro charging cable uh, the power bank also has an automatic shut off and it automatically starts charging when you plug a device into it. Uh, the power blade itself takes a couple hours to charge uh, and the LEDs indicate charging level of, of the, of the uh, power blade while it's charging. Um, it, it's a very nice device. It's lightweight, very thin as I said, very sturdy. It's made very well. It's easy to travel with, you know, especially if you travel with a binder, you could throw it in a, a binder. The one thing that this power bank has, or power blade that it's called has, is called an adaptive output function that's supposed to optimize charging for the type of device that you're charging. Uh, and for me, not being the engineer type, I, I, you know, it, I'm not really sure of the benefits of that versus just letting it go. Uh, you know, you have to set that feature manually, and I personally would prefer smart charging built in automatically for, for both ports, especially at this, at this price range. Uh, I like this power blade, but I do think it's a bit expensive. It's currently 80 bucks, uh, and considering that it only has a six month warranty, I think that's, uh, pretty poor considering, uh, this price range. Uh, and overall, I mean, I think this is a, a nice power bank, although it's not perfect. It does have the coolness factor. It's one of the coolest power banks I've seen, uh, although I do think, again, it's a bit spin expensive, and I don't like the short six-month warranty. I give it four stars.